SIVA teacher, we're backstage, live at the SIVAs. They're telling me my earpiece, we're about a minute away to start this. Are you excited? <laughs> you want to see something kind of cool? I don't know if we should do this, but I'm, come this way, check this out. It's the award table. Maybe we could check out some of the awards before we hand them out. Check it out, we got them right here. Oh, let's grab this one right here on that. No, sir, you can't touch me. Wow, they have student security back here. That is amazing. Whoa, are you guys, are you guys really in that audience out there? because I can't hear you. Are you out there? All right, let's go. Let, let's check out this audience. Here we go. We're going to come this way, come out to the front. I'm going to come out. This audience is going to go crazy. Let's go, Siva. Everybody say Siva. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Wait, what's that? Oh, 20 seconds? OK, we got 20 seconds to start this. We're going to do a countdown from 10. When we get to zero, I want everybody to stand on their feet, stick their hands in the air, and say, Siva! What are you going to say? Yeah. All right, 15 seconds, 15 seconds. I need more enthusiasm. Come on, let's hear it, let's hear it, let's hear it. Yeah. 10 seconds, here we go. 10. Nine, eight, Louder. Yourself a big round of applause. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's gonna be an amazing night. Everybody's go. Please welcome to the stage Jerry Jones, past chair of the SECC board. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, I'm so excited. What an introduction. I'm Jerry Jones, past chair of the SECC board, and I'm the executive director of technology services for the Sacramento County Office of Education. It's my honor to welcome all of you to SECC's 34th annual award night celebration. I'm so excited to be here with you tonight, and I can't wait to see who the award winners will be for each category. We just want to say thank you so much for joining us this evening, in person or at home, and we are honored to have you as part of this celebration. Have you enjoyed the last two weeks checking out all the nominations on, on the channel? Who is excited to get this night started? I love stats. And this year, we had about 600 entries from 48 different schools with 1,700 media student producers. Give our, all of our student media producers a big round of applause. A huge congratulations to everyone who entered. We celebrate you and all your hard work this evening. Thank you. So be before we begin the awards tonight, there's a special group of people we want to recognize. So the SIVA Lab program and tonight's award celebration are made possible by 2023 sponsors, the Sacramento at Metropolitan Cable Television Commission and Comcast Cable. The Cable Commission and its staff work year after year with the SEC team to help fund your SEVA programs and to provide you with the opportunity to share your content on the educational cable channels. Here this evening representing the Commission is Y.K. Chalman right up here in front, and Chairperson of the Commission, Commissioner Zachary Friels, Commissioner Kirby Arillo, and Candace Mabra, Executive Director of the Commission. So Y.K., Zachary, Kirby, and Candace, could you please stand up to be recognized? If we can get a round of applause for them. Thank you. So finally, I want to introduce the SCCC Board of Directors who are here tonight. Each district representative on the SCCC Board acts as your advocate to ensure that you have the resources you need to share your stories through video. It's my pleasure to introduce you to Bob Lyons from the Sacramento City Unified School District, Eugene Graham from the Center Joint Union Unified School District, Steve Mate from the Elk Grove Unified School District, Elliot Lopez from Robles School District, and Joe Prente from Process Theater. So if we could get a round of applause for them.
right, media students, families, parents, guardians, friends, if you have phones, get them out right now and stick them up, stick your phones up in the sky. Because tonight, we encourage you to take as many photos and video as you can, and please share your experience on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and please use the hashtag SIVA Awards. Make sure to get out your phones and film and photograph the entire night. All right, and now for the awards. It's my honor to welcome SECC friend and partner, Connor Sutton, Director of Game and Entertainment and Broadcast for Sacramento Republic FC, and Yusuf Elma, sorry, Elsa Malaya of Toby Johnson Middle School. Sorry I mispronounced your last name there. Great, thank you. Thank you, Jerry. Uh, super excited to be here. Uh, when I got partnered up with Yusuf here, I wasn't told he was almost going to be as tall as me. So, and dress nicer than me. Those are two things, not a good start for me. Uh, my name is Connor Sutton. I'm the director of game entertainment and broadcast at the Sacramento Republic FC. Uh, we've partnered with SIVA for a couple of years. We've had students out to our games, interview our head coach, general manager, and it's been an honor to see some of those videos. They are so good. They get better and better and better. And I'm telling you, we have so many talented people in this audience in the Sacramento area. So give a round of applause for everybody. It's so cool. The uh, SIVA competition is the regional opportunity for local students to be recognized for excellence in educational video production. A little background for the awards, a panel of three or more judges reviewed by each entry based on a rubric, specific rubric. The judges agreed upon the honorable mentions and SIVA award winners in order to maintain a standard of excellence. The judges were not required to give an award to every category. As a result, only the best entries received the title of 2023 SIVA. As each SIVA finalist will receive, will receive an award for of merit certification. These certificates will be available for your teachers to pick up on stage after this evening's event. Should you win an award this evening, please come up to the stage as soon as you hear your name called for an honorable mention or a SIVA. Without further delay, this 2023 SIVA Awards. Video means to me, it's always kind of been a part of my life. Um, to me, it just helps me express myself. It like really helped me find my identity. I honestly don't know who the person I would be today without it. Video to me means inspiration and creativity and allowing yourself to find yourself. Have fun when you're videoing. Don't make it what other people want it to be. Make it what you want it to be. And that's what makes a great media student. Video is pretty powerful. It's sort of like my voice, my voice to put out there. I think that some videos can help you with your life lessons and stuff. Is like, it's just important to our community. Know what I'm saying? If you work very hard, it can get you good grades. Good. Oh. I'm Chris. I'm Leah. Welcome to Magic with Lucas. Hi, I'm Kenzie. And I'm Caden. And, and we, we have, have a lot, lot of questions. questions. My role was kind of like the editor, the kind of the behind the scenes guy. Director, producer, I would say a little bit of actor. My responsibilities was making sure that I had the proper footage to use. There was a lot of retakes, there was a lot of redoing certain parts, there was a lot of adding in energy because we just wanted to be as good as we possibly could. My favorite part of making the video was probably seeing everybody that was in my video have fun doing what they were doing setting up cameras, making sure we had the equipment with us. So it's, it's tough, but we get the job done. The 
advice I would give to my fellow producers would be to put a lot of time into their videos if they want them to be of a good quality. It's not easy, but it's definitely fun when you finish. And getting to look back at the projects that you've finished, you're gonna feel so successful, even if it was hard at the start. Look at how pretty it is. Our goal is to be Redo that, please. Redo that, please. I can't. I can't. <laughs> to be able to put something on a screen and it actually impacts someone, something about it is almost surreal. Having a good group of friends to work with is one of the best things about filmmaking. It doesn't matter what equipment you use. If people enjoy it, continue doing it. If it's a passion, work hard on it. You really just need a camera and yourself to be able to tell pretty much anything to the world. So that about wraps it up. Bye. Thanks for watching. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. Welcome. 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 Welcome to the Sea Buzz. Welcome to the Sea Buzz. Right. Let's get started with the awards. The Public Service Announcement, or PSA, is a short promotional video about an educational topic that's up to 30 seconds in length. There was one video submitted in the K through PP PSA category, and the judges decided to award it with the SIVA. The video is, can I get a drum roll? <laughs> Surviving Braces, producer Hulan Morales of Florence Markoff Elementary School. Please come up to the stage to accept your award. Hulan told us, I want to show you how to survive getting braces, and I even gave a website if you want more information. Let's watch. My name is Sulin, and I am eight years old, and I'm going to teach you how to survive braces. One, get a piece of paper and a pencil so that people can understand you. Step two, learn how to smile. I do it slowly, which doesn't make it hurt, so do this. Step three, brush your teeth real good, your food out of your mouth, because it can get stuck in your braces. Just think, you're going to have great teeth when you're all done. For more tips, visit this website. I'd like to thank my my, my uh, Siva teacher, my sister, and everybody else for helping me get this award. Thank you. Thank you, Halon. The finalists for the four through six PSA category are Animal Abuse Awareness, Del Paso Manor Elementary School, Balloon Breathing, Florence Markoffer Elementary School, Drive Slow, Save Lives, Florence Markoffer Elementary School, Our Oceans Are in Need, Sunrise Elementary School, Properly Recycle, John Barrett Middle School, Sidewalk CPR, Florence Markoffer Elementary School. Stop Ocean Pollution, Albert Schweitzer Elementary School. Turning Off, Sunrise Elementary School. The judges decided to award an honorable mention and a SIVA in this category. The honorable mention goes to Properly Recycle, producers Sophie Wells and Emily Wells of John Barrett Middle School. Sophie and Emily, please join us on stage. 
The producers hope that after watching this video, everybody will be encouraged to recycle properly and will know what, how to do so after seeing the examples of what items should be recycled. Here's their PSA. How to properly recycle. To help our environment, we recycle. But do we do it correctly? Here's what you should recycle. You should recycle plastics like tubs, empty bottles, empty food containers, bags, and cartons. Finally, you should recycle foil and empty cans. Now we should see what we should not recycle. We should recycle food waste, plastic wrap, bubble wrap, and food contained items. If we recycle properly, then it will save energy, help pollution, and conserve natural resources. This will help climate change to help our earth, animals, and even us. Um, sadly, the people today that made this amazing video cannot be here. Um, but for them, I'll thank Mr. Darrow and their parents. Um, and the people I work with, Sophie's, Sophie and Emily are very good students. Congratulations. And the SIVA is awarded to... Turning off, producer Rudra Vindo of Sunrise Elementary School. Rudra hopes to help planet Earth stay healthy and everyone live longer. With this video, that reminds you to turn off all electron electronical power and water when not in use. Let's take a look. Turning off. That fan and light are wasting energy since nobody is in the room. Turning off is necessary, so do your part in saving energy. And don't forget to fix that leaky faucet because every drop counts. So don't forget to save energy and save water. Unfortunately, Runa could not be here today, so they sent me a speech. She, they would like to thank their teacher, Mr. Harding, SECC, the entire Sunrise team, and then at the end she says, Go Siva! Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, Emma and Emily. Sorry. We're going to move on to the 7-8 PSA category. And the finalists are. Don't text and drive. Will Rogers Middle School. Exercise every day. John Barrett Middle School. Get off your phone. Folsom Middle School. Online dangers. Catherine Albiani Middle School. PSA Water Conservation. Arden Middle School. Stop gun violence. Samuel Jackman Middle School. The last text. Catherine Albiani Middle School. Trash Talk PSA, Sutter Middle School. The judges gave both an honorable mention as well as a SIVA. The honorable mention is awarded to Stop Gun Violence, producers Eliza Sachow and Sophia Flores of Samuel Jackman Middle School. Eliza and Sophia shared a very important message with adults in hopes of stopping gun violence from happening in schools. Let's take a look. Unfortunately, my friend Sophia couldn't be here, but I want to thank my family and all my friends and my teacher for helping us do this, and I'm really glad my friend and me were able to do this, so thank you.
Congrats to Eliza and Sophia. And the SIVA goes to Online Dangers, Emma Bruns and Emily Ballou of Catherine Albiani Middle School. The producers share their video to help the online community stay safe by reminding students to keep their information private. Here's their PSA. Thank you to Mrs. McNeil and everyone who's a part of the video and SCCC for this wonderful award. Did you want to say anything? No. All right, I think we're good. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. And the finalists in the 9 through 12 PSA category are... Fentanyl PSA, Rio Americano High School. Kidnapping PSA. Vista Del Lago High School, Living with Roaches, Galt High School, Mental Health Markings, Vista Del Lago High School, Nutrition, Ria Americano High School, Parking Correctly, Del Campo High School, Save the Pipes, Franklin High School, Set Your Parking Brake, Cordova High School. And an honorable mention and a SIVA were given. The 2023 honorable mention is awarded to Living with Roaches, producers Christopher Sheldon and Emily Ann Sheldon of Galt High School. Christopher and Emily Ann created this video with one important purpose, to teach others how to keep roaches out of your home. Let's take a look. Living with Roaches. During the warm and dry parts of the year, many pests, including cockroaches, search their environment seeking food, water, and shelter. The best ways to make sure you don't have any cockroaches in your home are to eliminate potential food, water, and shelter sources, and seal cracks and crevices around your home. To learn more, visit sacksewer.com. This was a super fun video to make, and I'm glad I got to make it with Christopher. I enjoyed experimenting with stop motion and getting to create all of the scenes. And now it's here's Christopher. This was my first stop motion video, and I really enjoyed learning the process. Thank you to Mrs. Beckett for supporting our creativity and challenging us with new projects. I also enjoyed working with my sister, and thanks to our great narrator, Thank you, Siva, for this honor. Thank you, everyone. Thank you both. And for the final award of the PSA category, the 2023 9 through 12 PSA Siva goes to Save the Pipes, producer Zhang Zhao of Franklin High School. Zhang asks everyone to help keep pipes clear and free of severe blockage by not flushing wipes, even if they're advertised as flushable. Let's take a look. Many brands advertise flushable wipes, but are they really flushable? Unlike toilet paper, most flushable wipes do not break down easily or at all once they're flushed. When wipes are flushed and come in contact with food grease or roots, it can cause a serious blockage in the sewer pipes that requires you to pay a plumber to clean the blockage. Do a sewer a favor, trash the wipes, not the pipes. Learn more at saxsewer.com. Unfortunately, Sean wasn't able to make it today, but we'll accept it on his behalf. He's a really hardworking student, and we're really pleased to, uh, of this, with this accomplishment. Thank you. 
great work, everyone, and thank you to SECC and SIVA for letting me be here. It's been such an honor being up here. Give it up for Yusuf, everybody. How great was he? <laughs> Last thing I want to say is I look forward to working for all of these directors, producers in the future, because that's how talented you guys are, so thank you. Uh, and now please welcome Candace Mabra, the Executive Director of Sacramento Metropolitan Cable TV Commission, here this evening to recognize a special group of students who received the defining 2022 award this year. Hi, good evening. Thank you for that kind introduction. Thank you for having me here. I am excited to be here. You all are truly amazing, and I too look forward to working for all of you someday. This week, a special group of student producers were highlighted on Comcast Channel 16, receiving their Defining 22 awards. This award recognizes students who put the me in media by using their media production skills to highlight and to share a subject that is important to them. In today's world, where media is everywhere you look, it is most important than ever for students, such as all of you, to use your skills to share your voice. We invite all of our Defining 22 award winners to join us up on stage now. The students receiving this year's Defining 2022 Awards have truly put the me in media. Without further delay, is there anything that you would like to say? I made the video because I wanted to show people that you could do things differently. I think it's very important to work as a team, and I think that we really show that here in WCTV. I believe that it's very important to bring attention to young African-American voices in order to break down racial inequality. To watch this side be able to uh, express his creativity through film and watching him learn. These students are getting the opportunity through your help, through the school's help, um, introducing them to something that they really want to do for the rest of their lives. Thank you, Congratulations to everyone who entered videos. Your work is so impressive. And a big congratulations to the award winners. We really enjoyed watching your videos. Congrats to all of you. And as you've heard a few times this evening, your work is truly inspiring. Your plaques will be available on the stage after the show. And now, joining me for the Documentary Awards is Jaden Vakash. He's of Samuel Jackman Middle School. Thank you all for welcoming me here. I'd like to thank the people at SIVA for letting me um, be here for you all. I'm really excited, and let's get this started. Okay, the documentary category includes videos of any length that give us an in-depth educational look at topics such as classroom curriculum, people in current events, and history. The finalists in the K through three documentary category are A Trip to Locke, Florence Mark Carfer Elementary School. Why Dogs Are Special, Florence Mark Carfer Elementary School. Okay, the judges awarded an honorable mention as well as a SIVA. The honorable mention is awarded to A Trip to Locke. <laughs> Producer, Sophia Macoff from Florence Macoffer Elementary School. Sophia shares this video about a special place with people who want to learn about other cultures. My name is Sophia, and I'm going to be talking about the, the town of Locke, which was originally established in 1915 as a settlement for the Chinese people who worked the railroads and farms.
I would like to thank my mom, my teacher, Ms. Board. I would also like to thank Ms. Noel for encouraging me to do to enter the SIVAs. I would also like to thank the SIVAs for giving me, us, me this award. Thank you. Great work, Sophia. And the SIVA award is awarded to Why Dogs Are Special. Producer, Producer Madeline Gomez, of Florence Markoffer Elementary School. Madeline created this video for all of us who are interested in, who love, and who have questions about dogs. Let's take a look. So these dogs are so special to me because they've just been in my life for a really long time. It's just I've always, always snuggled with them and it made me feel so happy. I want to thank my family for helping me do this, my friend for helping me too, and um, my teacher, Miss Noel, for helping me do this. <laughs> Congratulations to Madeline. And the finalists in the four to six documentary category are ADHD, living with it, Del Paso Manor Elementary School. Adopt a pet, Del Paso Manor Elementary School. Angel City FC, Del Paso Manor Elementary School. Helmets come first, Del Paso Manor Elementary School. Clean up the American River Parkway, Del Paso Manor Elementary School. MM News, sixth grade podcast team, Florence Markover Elementary School. One Deadly Pill, The Dangers of Illicit Fentanyl, Loomis Basin Charter School, SIVA 20 to 30 Club, James McKee Elementary School. In the four to six documentary category, the judges awarded two honorable mentions as well as the SIVA. The first honorable mention is awarded to Adopt a Pet. Producer Samantha Hawkins of Del Paso Manor Elementary School. Samantha shared this video for individuals who are interested in owning a pet and encouraging them to obtain a pet from an adoption center versus a breeder to help with overpopulation. If you are looking for a pet, you can adopt at a shelter instead of a breeder. Beyond just helping an animal in need, you're giving a rescue an opportunity to be themselves and get a second chance. Thank you. Um, it's an honor to be here tonight. Um, I would like to thank Siva for giving me this award. Um, I would also like to thank my parents for supporting me. And, um, and I'd like to thank my teacher, Mrs. Darrow, for showing me how to make the videos and getting me into media. Um, and um, SPCA for letting me film there. Thank you. You're welcome. You learned it. Great work, Samantha. And the second honorable mention is awarded to Helmets Come First. Producers Allison O and Orison Smith of Del Paso Manor Elementary School. Allison and Orson created this video to spread awareness to kids that wearing a helmet is safe and cool. The brain is a very important organ. It is responsible for every aspect of our body, like thinking, moving, feeling. Um. I'd like to thank our teacher, Mrs. Jero, and our parents to let us be able to do this. I would like to thank my parents and uh, my teacher, Ms. Darrow, for supporting us with this video. Mm -hmm. 
Congratulations to Allison and Orson. And now, the SIVA is awarded to One Deadly Pill, The Dangers of Illicit Fentanyl. Producer Truman Gear of Loomis Basin Charter School. Truman was inspired to create this important video after hearing the stories of people who had lost um, loved ones due to this drug um, pill. Your generation didn't start this problem, but you have, in my opinion, the most influential power to make a difference and stop it. Thank you so much. I would like to thank the Didiers for agreeing to do the interview with me, uh, Lisa Botwinick, who also helped me, and Morgan Geyer. Uh, also, J Mrs. Do Mrs. Darrow, my SIVA teacher. And I hope that with this video and all the other amazing resources out there, we can help spread awareness and prevent this deadly drug from being a huge issue. Thank you, Truman, and congratulations. In the 7-8 documentary category, the finalists are... 300 wins, Sutter Middle School, Adultification, Fern Bacon Middle School, Black History Month, Fern Bacon Middle School, Creativity and Flexibility in the Classroom, Winston Churchill Middle School, Free School Lunch, Will Rogers Middle School, Japanese Internment Camps, Winston Churchill Middle School, Media Documentary, Andrew Carnegie Middle School. Where's the Water? Catherine Albiani Middle School. The judges awarded an honorable mention as well as a SIVA in this category. The honorable mention is awarded to Where's the Water? Producer Jordan Janowitz of Catherine Alabiani Middle School. Jordan shares the educational message of how important water is and the different ways in which you can conserve it. Let's take a peek. The snowpack is essentially all of the frozen water that's in the Sierra. And the frozen water in the Sierra has everything to do with our agricultural needs, recreational needs. Um, I'd like to thank Tracy Humphrey for agreeing to do the meeting with me and Emma. And I'd like to thank Mrs. McNeil for supporting me through um, this whole entire journey, through getting the Zoom meeting and the meeting at the news station. And I'd like to thank Emma, my partner, for filming the whole thing. And I'd also like to thank Ms. McNeil for getting us Panera after um, this interview. I know some of you can't say that, so <laughs> thank you. Congrats, Jordan. And the SIVA is awarded to Media Documentary. <laughs> Producers Charlotte Dean and Sierra Zimmerman of Andrew Carnegie Middle School. The producers use this video to highlight what it has been like for them to learn new things, create memories, and to have new experiences in media. Let's take a look. Um, being on the PSA commercial crew, we get to make content for the Carney Connection while the anchors aren't on. Mr. Knight, our media teacher, and all our friends that helped us make this video, and yeah. I want to thank our media teacher, Mr. Knight, for everything he's taught us this year, and all of our friends who helped us with our video, too. And my mom. <laughs> Great work, Charlotte and Sierra. Thank you for sharing. And now our finalists in the 9 through 12 documentary category. 
AI's effect on education. Rio Americano High School. Am I a man or am I a tractor? Galt High School. Artificial intelligence. Rio Americano High School. Cops on campus. The role of school resource officers. Cordova High School. Fast fashion and the downfall of generational fashion. Rio Americano High School. It's all accessible. Del Campo High School. Magical costumes. Galt High School. The Rise of AI on Artists, a documentary, Rio Americano High School. The judges awarded both a SIVA and an honorable mention for the 9 through 12 documentary category. The honorable mention goes to Fast Fashion and the Downfall of Generational Fashion, producer Claire of Rio Americano High School. Fast fashion is a relatively new phenomenon, and it is already having a huge impact on the world around us. It has proved to be largely harmful to the environment. It uses up significant amounts of water and pollutes this water with toxic chemicals that come from clothing dye and microplastic. So it doesn't look like Charlotte and Sierra are here this evening. Does anyone want to speak on their behalf? Okay, we'll move forward. The SIVA is awarded to the Rise of AI on Artists, a documentary. Producer Lee Mag um, of Rio Americana High School. You're doing great. Yeah. Never apologize. Even though many can tell that some work was done by AI through distorted parts of the image, very well generated ones can be extremely challenging to differentiate from actual drawn pieces. So it looks like no one is here for this one either. So that wraps up our round of awards. Thank you all and congratulations to all of the winners. Keep up the great work. And I'll see you guys next year. Thank you. Well, I'm excited to be back on stage uh, for this part of the presentation. So tonight we're, we're going to celebrate our SIVA teachers for their support of their students day after day, year after year. These individuals are much more than just teachers to their students. They are leaders, mentors, and many times family. We thank you for your hard work and your dedication. You faced many challenges over the past few years and have kept a positive attitude. We express our gratitude for all that you've done for our students and the community. So SIBA teachers, we would greatly appreciate it if you could go ahead and join us on stage to give us an opportunity for a group photo. So while you do so, as you're coming up, we're gonna share a few words from your students here on the screen. My media teacher is Mr. Knight. My media teacher is Mr. Krieger. My media teacher is Mr. Beerson. My media teacher is Scott Southern. My media teacher is Mr. Beerson. My media teacher is Ms. Noel. She's my mom. My media teacher is Mr. Pollock, and he is also my dad. He's a really amazing teacher. He helps me with my projects. Ms. Esquivel is just a caring person. Well, she really just brings a really vibrant, compassionate energy for all the students. She's been a really great mentor. She's always offering help, always offering advice. An impact she's had on me was showing me how to be more creative. I really missed a teacher that I could actually like, connect with with media. And so when I met Joe last year for doing a beginning broadcasting, I ended up wanting to stick with media. I think he has the biggest impact on me as a student. He's, he's always loves talking about movies, talking about how you can make stuff better. He's always really encouraging. He's really open to us and he tells us exactly what we need to hear. He's a good guiding figure to kind of go to whenever you need help with something. She is honestly like one of the best teachers that I've had. I love her. She is so much more than just a teacher. She really makes this like a family. WCTV is the face of the school and then Ms. Williams is the face of WCTV. He'll just be there to like say, oh here, and correct you, and make sure that you're doing it right. She's someone you can trust, and I think that's really important. He just like boosts my self-esteem a lot, and like gives me confidence. She always supports us in like our video ideas and things, and she helps us make them reality. All right, can we get a huge round of applause for our SIBA teachers? Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for having us tonight.
Thank you, everyone. It's an honor to be invited to present here tonight. So tonight we're cre um, we are um, presenting the creative expression category, which includes productions such as fictional content, book trailers, original video, uh, music videos, and, um, and or any program that has an educational message but does not fit in any other of the four categories. In the fourth through sixth grade, creative expression finalists are. Axolotls, Galt High School, SAC Zoo Camp. Chromebook CPR Charged, Sunrise Elementary School. Cubing is Fun, Del Paso Manor Elementary School. History of Horror, How the Horror Genre Has Evolved Over the Years, Winston Churchill Middle School. Is Baking Art, James McKee Elementary School. Making Pupsicles with Luke, Florence Markhofer Elementary School. Video Games Create Creativity, Del Paso Manor Elementary School. Wild Imagination, Florence Markhofer Elementary School. All right, and the judges decided to award a SIVA in this category. The SIVA is awarded to Chromebook CPR Charge, producer Holly Miyazaki of Sunrise Elementary School. Holly shared the educational message I wanted to teach is that you should always make sure your Chromebook is charged before you go to school. I wanted to make sure the video is funny so that it would help students remember to charge their Chromebooks. Here's a short clip. You should always charge your Chromebook before you come to school. I would like to thank the SECC Sunrise Elementary School, Aspiring TV, Mr. Harding, the students that participated in the video, and my family. I am truly thankful for this experience and opportunity. Thank you for this wonderful award. Congratulations, Holly. In the 7th to 8th grade creative expression category, the finalists are... Air Show, Gold River Discovery Center. Bullying, Samuel Jackman Middle School. Nature, Andrew Carnegie Middle School. One Giant Leap for Mankind, Winston Churchill Middle School. Papers, Mary Hill School. Something New by Rosa Maria Orizoco. California Middle School. The Log House, Winston Churchill Middle School. The Wishing Desk, Mary Hill School. There was an honorable mention and a SIVA awarded by the judges. The honorable mention goes to Papers, producers Raul Chilma Curry and Gagan Dillon of Mary Hill Elementary and Middle School. I left home the day after I was done with community college. I went to go to the city to accomplish amazing things. Uh, I'd like to thank Ms. Lodano for inspiring me to for writing this story, and I'd like to thank my mom and Guggen's mom for driving us around on that last day that we were filming for a couple hours. Yeah, uh, I'd also like to ask a few things. This movie is really special to make, as we are procrastinators. This movie is about procrastinating. And I'd also like to make a massive thank you to my parents, specifically both of our moms, for driving us around. We can't do that for another two years, so thanks a lot. And also, I'd really like to thank our, t our teacher, Ms. Adotto, like for all that insight that you put in, and also for helping everyone in our class. Thank you. Thank you and great job. The SIVA is awarded to Nature, producer Aubrey Janeway of Andrew Carnegie Middle School. Aubrey, Audrey teaches us to get outside, open our eyes, and look at the nature around us. Here's a short preview. A sunset silhouette full of many views and the winter trees giving out their clues. The intensity of the wind and air 
tell us, look around, nature is there. Hi, I want to thank my teacher, Mr. Knight, my family for supporting me, my friends for helping me make the video, and Siva for giving me this opportunity. <laughs> thank you. All right, congratulations, Audrey. The finalists for the ninth through 12th grade um, creative expression category are The Journal, Pleasant Grove High School. If only, El Camino Fundamental High School. Message from the Future, Rio Linda High School. Pressure Cooker, Rio Americano High School. Sincerely, myself. Pleasant Grove High School. Tabs, El Camino Fundamental High School. The Upside of the Unplug, Rio Americano High School. What is Motivation? Cordova High School. All right, an honorable mention and a SIVA were given. The honorable mention is awarded to, if only, producer Hannah Schooley from El Camino Fundamental High School. Hannah shared with us, suicide not only affects the person who lost their life, but it affects everyone around them for the worse. If only um, shows the effects of suicide. Let's take a look. If only I had noticed the way the light slowly left your eyes as time moved on. Maybe things would be different. Oh my gosh, okay, hi. Um, I'd like to thank SIVA and SECC for just like creating a platform where students can just share things that are like important and that they want everyone to see. Um, I wanna thank my media teacher, Mr. Sumter, for like pushing me past all of my comfort zones and even if I didn't wanna do something, making me do it because it got me where I am today. And then I'd like to thank my best friend, Tori, for being the reason that I'm in media in the first place. Thank you. All right, thank you, Hannah. And the SIVA goes to Pressure Cooker producers, Kaser Wynn and Naya Wynn of Rio Americano High School. Kaser and Naya shared this video to raise awareness of the harmful effects of excessive ac academic and societal pressure. The video aims to create culture of support and care for students in their academic and personal lives. Here's a short clip. No time to waste. Eat the food and get to work. It looks like you have a lot to do. Today was a day. Apps are coming, finals are coming, APs are coming. It feels like a heavy mountain that I can't get out from under. First off, I want to give a huge thank you to the SECC for putting on such a great event. It's an amazing opportunity for opportunity for us to be able to express our creativity through the medium of filmmaking. I want to give a shout out to Mrs. Darrow, our fifth grade teacher, who introduced us to this amazing world of filmmaking. We owe it all to her. Thank you. Thank you. All right, congratulations everyone. What a great job. I'm so proud of each and every one of you for using this opportunity to share your voice and to be creative. Stay at it. Congrats to all the winners. Um, thank you to SIVA and SECC for giving me the opportunity to design the poster and um, be invited to present here tonight. Um, here to present the 2023 Alan Henderson Award, please welcome Lisa Hall of the Robles School District. Good evening. It's my honor to be here to present the Alan, Alan Henderstein Award on behalf of Superintendent Ruben Reyes, who was called away at the last minute. My name is Lisa Hall. I'm the principal, the proud principal of Bell Avenue Elementary School. <laughs> to start us off here is a short video from Don Williams, the 2022 Henderstein Award winner. Let's take a look. 
The Henderstein Award is in memory of an incredible Sac State professor, Alan Henderstein, who had a vision that recognized the importance and value of media production for teachers and students. Over 35 years ago, his idea was to enhance the classroom learning experience of students. We honor Alan's memory every year as we recognize a teacher who embodies the concept of creativity using media to enhance student learning. When I received this award, once I picked my job off the floor, I was truly humbled. Being a part of a community of educators and our partners here at SECC who are dedicated to making a positive impact on students' lives is truly a privilege. I have no doubt that this year's recipient will mark this moment with a sense of humility and pride, knowing that what they do every day at the least makes a positive impact on each student. And if we're lucky, ignites a passion for learning and dedication to taking their passion far beyond the school walls in heights we've never seen before. It is my distinct honor to present the 2023 Allen Henderson Award to Joshua Weeks of Bell Avenue Elementary School. This award means that you have been recognized as an outstanding educator who has made a significant impact in your students' lives. Congratulations. Mr. Weeks has an amazing amount of energy and a passion when it comes to teaching media and sharing students' creativity. With a diverse world around him and, a, and countless demands at all times, Mr. Weeks still finds time to support all the students and ensure their voice and their vision is shared through Bell Media Tiger News. Mr. Weeks is always looking for new opportunities for his students to develop their skills in and outside the classroom. He is a huge supporter of the SEVA program and brings a new level of energy to the SEVA Fest events. Mr. Weeks not only continues to grow and advance his students' skills, but he is always looking for ways to grow his knowledge and skill set. Mr. Weeks is an avid learner when it comes to video technology, and this hunger for new information is reflected in his students who often stay after school to pick his brain on how they can do more. Mr. Weeks has a great vision for his program and his school, and there is no doubt they will accomplish great things in the future. All right, you guys ready? Here we go, quiet on set. And three, two, one, action. My media teacher is Mr. Weeks, with the teacher with the amazing hair. He helped me a lot because he taught me most of the stuff I know about technology. What makes Mr. Weeks special is the way he teaches. It's like different from other teachers, like he has jokes and he's funny. Well, Mr. Weeks has a big impact on our entire school community. He is a lot of fun to work with. He has a great, positive personality. Everybody knows Mr. Weeks. He is the guy that you come to for actually anything. Kids that aren't even in his class want to go up to hang out in his classroom, and they love when he'll go out and play basketball on the playground with him. And he helped me for recording and getting better shots and learning how to use different things. Mr. Reese has had an impact on me because he's taught me editing. He's taught me how to perform on video and like pretend that the camera isn't there. Just be yourself. You see? You see? All right. So you got to hold the power button down for a little bit. I'm going to leave this on. Both of my kids actually absolutely love Mr. Weeks, and they've said this multiple times that Mr. Weeks is their favorite teacher on campus. He takes the time to teach. He's very patient with them. Thank you for teaching both of my kids about filming and editing. They have taught me a lot in return. So not only did you teach them, but you also taught me. With the little kids, the parents, they all just love Mr. Weeks. He is giving them 110% of his time. All the parents always see that he wants their kids to succeed. Are we ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, action. If I could say anything to Mr. Weeks right now, I would say that he helped me a lot. I would say thank you for everything you've taught me and because everything I know was from him. Like all my uh, knowledge of editing and recording, he taught me.
Um, I can not thank you enough for this award. Um, it's very ironic that I told my students to be prepared just in case, and I'm not. So I will do my best. Uh, I'll keep it to three thank yous. Uh, number one, of course, my students that literally could not do this without you. Watching you grow, watching your talents, your skills, your dedication. Uh, my media group is amazing this year. I'm very fortunate to have some of them since kindergarten. Sadly, they are leaving me this year, but uh, I know they will go to do great things. I know they'll come to visit me, and if you make it big, I like BMWs. Uh, second, my, of course, uh, my district, my coworkers. Uh, a special shout out to my partner over there. I'm gonna try and embarrass you, Miss Christmas. Couldn't do this without you. And of course, my amazing boss, best boss I've ever had, Miss Lisa Hall. Um, thank you so very, very much. Uh, good job keeping this a secret, had no clue. Um, and uh, third, uh, and of course, SCCC, I love this program. Um, I never knew I had a passion and a love for combining media and education. Um, what you put forth is incredible. Um, social media nowadays, sadly, sometimes we are seen with hate and negativity, but what you all create is so positive, so inspiring. The things that we get to see up here shows your creativity. It shows how you send a positive message, and it ins it's an inspiration to all. So uh, to all of you, amazing job. To all you watching at home, amazing job. And please give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you very much. Here with us tonight to present the awards in the instructional category is Chairman of the Sacramento Metropolitan Cable TV Commission, Y.K. Chalmcherla, and Emma Bruns of Catherine Albiani Middle School. The instructional category recognizes the programs that teach about a subject or skill or give how to, so advises the educational topics. The finalist in the K to three instructional category are. Baking with Hulan, Lawrence Markoffer Elementary School. How to break dance, Lawrence Markoffer Elementary School. How to make a banana smoothies, Lawrence Markoffer Elementary School. Making slime. Florence Markoffer Elementary School. Simple skill moves to be a defender in soccer, Sunrise Elementary School. All right, the judges awarded both an honorable mention and a SIVA for this category. The honorable mention goes to Baking with Hulan, producer Juan Morales of Florence Markoffer Elementary School. In this video, Hulan wants to teach everyone how to make delicious Nickerdoodle cookies from start to finish. Let's take a look. Now you're going to add two eggs. Thank you for my mom for helping me get this award and my sister for editing it while I was baking the cookies. That's awesome. Thank you, Helen. Good job. And the Seva Award goes to drum rolls. How to make a banana smoothie. Come on. The producer, Maya Angele, for Florence Mako for Elementary School. Maya shows us how everyone can make a healthy breakfast. With this easy recipe, in just a few minutes, let's take a peek look about her video. First, add some granola on top. Then add some bananas on top too. 
finally add some mint leaves together with the granola and banana. Today, I would like to thank my media teacher, Mrs. Noll, for helping me do my best in my video so that it can be the best it can be. I would also want to thank my parents for being able to come here today. I would also finally want to thank the SIVAs for hosting this event so they can make kids engaged in video making. Thank you. That's awesome. You know, you have to show the award to everyone. Look at that. Woohoo! Congratulations, Maya. In the four to six instructional category, the finalists are Apple Pie Bites, Florence Markoffer Elementary School. Great Candy, Florence Markoffer Elementary School. How to Get Good Grades, John Barrett Middle School. How to Homemade Pizza, Mary Hill Elementary and Middle School. How to Open a Bank Account for Kids, Sunrise Elementary School. Markoffer Pickup and Drop Off, Lawrence Markoffer Elementary School. Salami Roses, Sunrise Elementary School. Studying Tips 101, C.W. Dillard. The judges selected both an honorable mention and a SIVA in this category. The honorable mention is awarded to Markoffer Pickup and Drop Off. Producers of Josiah Zamora of Florence Markoffer Elementary School. In this important instructional video, Josiah teaches Markoffer families how to properly pick up and drop off students in school environments. Here's a short preview. Always drive slowly and carefully in the school zone, especially during drop off and pick up times. Pay attention to crossing guards and follow their instructions. I'm so thankful that I won this award. Um, this is my, I think, second word award. I've been doing this for two years, and I'd like to thank my media teacher, Mrs. Noel. I'd like to thank my family. So many of them came over to here just to watch me. And I'd also like to thank the SIVAs and SECC. Josiah, great job. And the SIVA goes to Salami Roses, producer Holly Miyazaki of Sunrise Elementary School. Holly told us, I want all students to learn that cooking is a fun activity. Learning how to prepare food and serve it will benefit your family and friends. Not to mention, making it look pretty on the charcuterie board. It's always fun to cook food. Let's take a look. Over your plate or your charcuterie board to reveal your salami rose. I would like to thank the SECC Sunrise Elementary School, Spartan TV, Mr. Harding, and my family. I am truly thankful for this experience and opportunity. Thankful, uh, thank you for this wonderful award. Congratulations, Holly, and thank you for sharing. The finalists in the seven to eight instructional categories are Basics of Football, Catherine Albioni Middle School. Christmas Cookies, Heron School. How to Fish, John Barrett Middle School. How to Fold an Origami Crane, Louis Pasteur Middle School. How to Make an Electromagnet, McCaffrey Middle School. How to Make Pilaf, Heron School. How to Make Sushi, Catherine Albioni Middle School. Thai Fairy, 
Sutter Middle School. And the SIVA goes to How to Fold an Origami Crane. Producer Henry Pollock of Louis Pasteur Middle School. Henry created this beautiful piece to teach others how to fold origami cranes while also inspiring them to reach their goals. Let's check it out. On November 11th of 2022, I folded the 1,000th origami crane. I wanted it to be perfect, so I took extra time making sure all the folds were precise. Thank you so much for recognizing my video. I'd like to thank my media teacher, Mr. Pollock, for helping me so much with my videos, and also thank you to Siva for giving me this award. Awesome. Great work, Henry, and congratulations again. In the 9 to 12 instructional category, the finalists are, take a look at. C Major Scale, Pleasant Grove High School. How to Do Your Laundry, Rio Americano High School. How to Fold Hope, Origami Paper Cranes, Rio Americano High School. How to Make a Song Using LMMS, El Camino Fundamental High School. How to Make Origami Lucky Stars, Rio Americano High School. How to Rainbow Flick, Rosemont High School. How to Stop Motion Center High School. Outfit on a Budget, Intercom High School. Taking a Flight from SMF, Franklin High School. The judges decided on an honorable mention as well as a SIVA award. The honorable mention goes to How to Fold Hope, Origami Paper Cranes. Producer Naya Wynn of Kaser and Kaser Wynn of Rio Americana High School. The producers bring awareness to the historic event of Hiroshima and keep the spirit of Sadako Sasaki, a young girl who survived the bombing but later died of leukemia, alive through teaching others the art of origami and folding paper cranes. Here's a sneak peek. Now that we've folded our hope into the symbol of the crane, a paper crane, we can express our hope to the world by sending these paper cranes to the Children's Peace Monument in Peace Park, Hiroshima. Thank you again to, the C uh, to SECC for this amazing event. It's been so much fun. I want to give a double shout out to Ms. Darrow. It's been a I think six years since uh, she taught us this amazing skill, and we've been using it ever since. Thank you. Thank you both. And the SIVA is awarded to How to Make Origami Lucky Stars, producer Lima Mangon of Rio Americano High School. Lee shares that crafting and gift giving can be cheap and easy. These stars carry meaning with them and are a gift that can be kept for a long time. You can get creative with using different colored paper or drawing on them as well. Here's a short preview. Gather your materials. You're gonna need standard printer paper, a ruler, a pencil, and scissors. Some places sell pre-cut strips, but we're going to make our own. It seems they're not here tonight, so we're just gonna save this for them for later. What a videos, wow, that's so awesome. By looking at all these ones, I'm thinking SECC is creating a good pipeline and great competition for future Oscars. Thank you everyone again for working hard. Congratulations to all the winners and the finalists. It was an honor.
honored to um, award these to everyone. Uh, presenting this evening's final category of awards is Bob Lyons, Chief Information Officer of Sacramento City Unified School District and SECC board member, and Naya Wynn of Rio Americano High School. Thank you, Emma. This, the videos this year have been amazing. Let's see what's next. Thank you, Naya. I'm honored to, to uh, present tonight with a two-time award winner tonight, so thank you. Uh, the school news category includes full campus news and broadcasts, as well as campus news stories highlighting current and relevant, uh, relevant student topics. In the K-3 news category, the finalists are Big Tires, Small Tires, Sunrise Elementary School, Elk Grove Basketball, Florence Markoffer Elementary School, MM News Mini Mustangs Episode 71, Florence Markoffer Elementary School. Oh. The judges awarded an honorable mention as well as a SIVA. The honorable mention is awarded to Big Tires, Small Tires. <laughs> Producer Ursula Bennett of Sunrise Elementary School. Ursula created this video to teach fellow students that airplane tires come in many sizes, including some bigger than her. Let's take a look. Congratulations, Isla. The SIVA is awarded to Elk Grove Basketball. <laughs> Producers Cal Rogers and Jackson Monday of Florence Mockoffer Elementary School. Cal and Jackson enjoy athletics and look up to the high school basketball team, so they decided to create this video highlighting when the Elk Grove High School team won the state championship. Here's a short clip. We are here at the Elk Grove High School. We are about to interview some of the basketball players and the head coach. They won the cha state championship last year. So Stay tuned. tuned. I would like to thank SECC TV for this award and thank my media teacher, Ms. Noel, Cal, and my family for all the support. I'm thankful for Mrs. Noel and my parents, and I had fun with the video. <laughs> Great work, Cal and Jackson. In the four through six school news category, the finalists are California Hall of Fame, Red Carpet, Florence Markoffer Elementary School. Interview with Gamma Meal Ortiz from SMUD, Pacific Elementary School. KFTV Dragon News Season 5, Episode 13, Ellen Feikert Elementary School. MM News, Episode 70, Florence Markoffer Elementary School. MTV News, Mr. Jeff Segment, Del Paso Manor Elementary School. Panther News, Episode 6, Main Avenue Elementary. Panther News, Episode 7, Main Avenue Elementary. Spartan TV, Number 61, Sunrise Elementary School. Tiger News, Air Show, Bell Avenue Elementary School. 
The judges awarded a SIVA award in this category, and the SIVA goes to Panther News Episode 6, producer, producer Panther News of Main Avenue Elementary School. Panther News provides elementary school students with important, important information, including weather reports, birthday announcements, nutrition facts, and more. Let's check it out. Next, we have Mr. Crane here to teach us how to serve when playing volleyball. Hey, Main Avenue. Mr. Crane's back again. Today, we're going to practice the volleyball serve. Um, I'd like to give a thanks to uh, SCCC for providing our equipment and SIVA for this amazing experience. Okay, congratulations to everyone. The finalists of the seven, eight news categories are First things first, Toby Johnson Middle School. Integrating Visual Arts, Will Rogers Middle School. M2 News Episode 15, Kindness Week, Mary Hill School. Mustang Morning News, Will Rogers Middle School. Order Chana Masala Today, Louis Pasteur Middle School. The Fall Festival at AMS, Arden Middle School. The Pick Episode 20, Sutter Middle School. Web Program Benefits, Arden Middle School. The judges awarded two SIVA awards in this category. The first SIVA is awarded to Fall Festival at AMS. <laughs> Producers Ryan Hood of Arden Middle School. Ryan created this video that showed the Arden Middle School fall festival and how it affects the community by having a space for people to hang out and shop while enjoying the setting sun. Here's a short preview. The fall festival didn't just help vendors with their businesses, it also got Arden closer to its community. This fall festival allows us to partner with community members and different community businesses. Um, I'd like to thank our media teacher, Mr. Roland. I'd like to thank the Arden PTA, and I'd like to thank the, everybody in the Arden Media Elective. Thank you. And the second SIVA is awarded to First Things First, producer, the cast, and crew of TJTV of Toby Johnson Middle School. The TJ TV cast and crew work daily to provide a live show containing accurate information for students and staff regarding events that happen in the school community. Let's take a look. As you may know, Toby Johnson offers a variety of electives for our 7th and 8th grade students. There is a wide selection of electives from creative writing to computer science. No matter what interests you may have, Toby is sure to have an elective fit just for you. On behalf of all of the TJTV crew, we want to thank the SIVAs and SECC for giving us all this amazing opportunity to be recognized tonight. I also want to thank Ms. Fidiment and Ms. Edlin for all the extra time they have given this program to get to where it is today. I also want to thank all of our parents for supporting us throughout our media journey. Our whole crew has spent so much time outside of school hours working so hard to produce our morning show. That I appreciate all the work that has been dedicated. Thank you, y'all. Thank you everyone and congratulations. In the nine through 12 school news category, the finalists are. Nine 11, 2022, Intercom High School. Creative elective, Del Campo High School. Danielle Viglione Basketball Ceremony, Del Campo High School. 
DC Gym Renovations, Del Campo High School. Franklin Football News Package, Franklin High School. Franklin Morning Show, Franklin High School. High School Art Show, Casa Roble Fundamental High School. Blending a Paw, Del Campo High School. Manning Jackson Soapbox Derby, Folsom High School. The SIVA is awarded to Danielle Viglione Basketball Ceremony. Producers Amy Gilmer and Patrick Katakutan of Del Campo High School. Amy and Patrick highlight an important message in their video, showing that if you are passionate about something and put in hard work, you will be rewarded for all of your efforts. Here's a short clip. So many memories here at this school, and the fact that Dominic, the head coach, rallied everybody together to do such a special event tonight, and a special time for me, my old teammates, my old coach, everyone that came to the, that's coming to the game tonight. Super special for me. Um, okay, um, first off, I would like to thank my cameraman, Patrick, because he's the one who filmed the great video and everything. Um, I would also like to thank Mr. Weitzel, who is the head of DC Daily. Um, without him, my video would never have been made, so I'm really thankful for everything he has done for me and all of us. And then um, I would like to thank my mom for supporting me with this program and everything. And then, of course, I would like to thank Danielle Viglione and all of her hard work that she did for DC with uh, women's basketball. Um, thank you. There were so many amazing videos, and I want to congratulate each and every student who submitted one. Mr. Lyons is going to close us out from this amazing night. All right. Thank you, Naya. Uh, thank you, students and teachers, for the outstanding videos presented tonight. And thank you again to the Sacramento uh, Educational Cable Consortium, Comcast Cable, and the Sacramento Metropolitan Cable Television Commission for making this event possible. As a reminder, defining the 2022 honorees and teachers, please stop by the table up here on stage to pick up your items. Make sure to describe or to uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and most importantly, thank you for celebrating with us. And uh, and thank you for an unforgettable evening. Come up here and take pictures when we're all done here, and thank you and good night.